no matter what you're thinking about when you hear the name Leonardo da Vinci, even if you're thinking about multiple things, chances are you're missing one or several important fields because Da Vinci was what people consider so-called universal genius, someone who was just outstanding at everything he ever tried, from his discoveries in human anatomy to his paintings and frescoes, which include the most famously stolen one, as well as the one with the most conspiracy theories attached to it. Da Vinci seems to have mastered it all. My favorite works of his though have always been the machines, the intelligently engineered crossbows and weapons and wingsuits and bridges. And let's talk about one of these. Let's talk about the aerial screw. Although it's easy to compare it to a modern helicopter, it's important to understand that it's based on a very different technique. When you look at the profile of a helicopter blade, you realize that it's the same as an airplane wing. Curved on the top, flat on the bottom, with different air pressures creating lift. But Da Vinci's screw was a wooden helix structure winding around a central post covered with canvas and through rapid turning alone it should screw through the air like it was a liquid or solid material. The screw will then be operated by four very fast, very strong runners pushing a drum in circles. Apparently Da Vinci knew this wasn't easy. He wrote that the linen would have to be extremely strong and that its pores would have to be sealed.
Now we can't know for sure if Da Vinci or anyone of his time actually built a fully sized aerial screw, partly because he was so secretive with his inventions and notes and drawings, but since it's very hard to find anyone today, even with the power of electric motors, who can make this thing work, it's kind of hard to imagine people getting it airborne in the 15th century with muscle power alone. What are you people working on right now? Leave a comment and subscribe to see the wonderfully weird contraption I built next week. Go in peace.